solve equations with fraction. Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In today's class, we want to look at how we can solve equation with fractions in an easy way. But before we proceed, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. If you have any question that you want us to solve for you, please comment. Then the question says, solve the equations with fraction. The question number one is 2x over 3 equal to 4 over 5. Why the second question is x plus 2 over 3 is equal to minus 3 over 5. The question number 3 is 3x over 5 is equal to 4 over 10. And the fourth one is x minus 5 over 6 is equal to 1 over 3. Now, in this type of equation, we're going to make use of the two methods. The first method is, let's call it step 1. Step 1 is called cross multiply. Multiply. Why? The second step is... Step two, let me call it step two. We want to, let's say, get rid, get rid of denominator. Yes, then the first method that we're going to make use of is cross multiply. Then, and we have the second method. Step two, in which you can quickly or easily solve the following question. We call it get rid of the denominator. That is how, in this type of equation, we have the numerators, the following, and the denominator, which are the one below. Now, let's quickly look at how we can easily solve them in an easy way. If you look at the question number one now, in we can apply the cross multiplication method that is this one we multiply by this and we say this one we also multiply this that is 2x times 5 is equal to 4 times 3 which is equal to 12 then but if you look at the second one here it asks this is x over 1 so we have 2x over 3 and then minus 3x 3 over 5 now this in this type of question, we are going to find the XCM or lowest common denominators. So, by doing that, we should be able to get to the final answer. Now, let's solve. Question number one says, solve 2X over 3 is equal to 4 over 5. Now, let's make use of our method, solution. solution we have 2x over 3 is equal to 4 over 5 now how do we do let's use our cross multiply method that is that is 2x multiplied by 5 times 5 will be equal to this 3 cross multiply by what 4 that is the first step as earlier discussed now this implies that 2x times 5 is equal to 10x which is equal to what 3 times 4 12 can you see now it's very easy within 60 seconds we should be able to finish the whole thing now the next thing is to divide both sides by 10 we want to find the value of x then and the coefficient of x here is 10 now what do we do we are going to divide both the left hand side of the equation and the right hand side of the equation by 10 now divide both sides by 10. This implies that we have 10x all over 10 is equal to 12 over 10. This one we cancel this. We are left with x will be equal to then and um, 2 goes in 12 and 10. This is 2 year 5, 2 year 6. We are left with 6 over what? 5. 
then our answer is s is equal to 6 over 5 or s is equal to 5 here 1 5 in 6 1 remain 1 then 1 over 1 over 5 you can see that within 60 seconds we are through with the question let's solve the second question the second question now with this type of this question we can apply our second method to get rid of the denominator by finding the lcm or lcd lcm is called the lowest common multiple or lcd is called lowest common denominator now solution solution we have x plus 2 over 3 is equal to minus 3 over 5. Yes, let's find the LCM. LCM. LCM, you can see now, LCM of the denominator, we have, this is the same thing as S over 1. Then we have 3 here and we have 5 here. So we are going to multiply this. 3 times 5 will be 15 so that we will be able to find the LCM. LCM is equal to what? 15. Now, what do we do next? We multiply the SCM by both sides of the equation. That is the equation at the left-hand side and the right-hand side. That is multiply, multiply the LCM or LCD by both sides now this implies that we have 15 times x all over 1 plus let's say 15 multiplied by 2 over 3 is equal to 15 multiplied by minus 3 over 5. Hope you are getting it. We are trying to multiply the SM by the equation at the both sides. We have 15 times x over 1 plus 15 times 2 over 3 plus, uh, which is equal to then 15 times minus 3 over 5. Now this implies that we have 15 times s, 15x plus 3 here, 1, 3 here, 5. 5 multiplied by these two, 10 is equal to 5 here, 1, 5 here, 3. Then 3 times minus 3, minus 9. Now from this last equation now, you will discover that we've been able to get rid of the denominator. Then what do we do next? We have... 15s is equal to, this is minus 9. If plus 10, cross the equal sign to become minus 10, then minus 10. Hope you are getting it. 15x is equal to, we have minus 9, then this is plus 10. If the plus 10 come to the other side, become minus 10. Then we are, this implies that we have 15s equal to minus 10 minus 10 minus 19 minus 19 therefore we divide both sides by 15 15 over 15 15 cancel 15 then we are left with s if you call to what minus 19 over 15 or 15 in 19 that is 1, remainder 4. Here, remember there is minus, remainder 4 is yes, 4 over 15. Answer. I think you, if you look at it very well, I believe the question, they are very simple and very easy to solve. Within how many minutes we'll be able to do that. Then let's look at the question number 3 and 4. 
Then here the question says solve 3x over 5 is equal to 4 over 10. Then we have solution. Solution. 3x 3x over 5 is equal to 4 over 10. We have 3x all over 5 is equal to 4 over 10. Now let's cross multiply. Cross multiply. That is 3x times 10. We have 3x multiplied by 10 will be equal to this 5 multiplied by 4. 5 times 4. This implies that we have 3x times 10. That is 30x is equal to 5 times 4, 20. Then we divide both sides by 30. We divide both sides by 30. Here, this 30 cancel this 30. Then we have s will be equal to this 0 cancel 0, 2 over 3. Answer. Very, very simple. Since we've gotten the answer for that, let's quickly solve the next one. The next question 6, x minus 5 over 6 is equal to 1 over 3. Then solution. We have x minus 5 over 6 equal to 1 over 3. Yes. We need to find the LCD or LCM. Then the LCM from the denominator now is what? You can see that we have this over 1. This is 6. And 3 can go to 6, which is then in 2 times. The LCM now is 6. Now, what do we do? We multiply the SCM by both sides of the equation. That is, 6 multiplied by x over 1 minus 6 multiplied by 5 over 6 equal to 6 multiplied by 1 over 3. Now, very, very simple. Then, 6 times this, we have 6x minus, this one will cancel this. We are left with minus 5. Is equal to 3 here, 1, 3 here, 2, 2 times 1, 2. Then we have 6x will be equal to 2. If this minus 5 cross the other side, it will become plus 5. 5. Therefore, we have 6x will be equal to 2 plus 5, 7. Then we divide both sides by 6. 6 over 6. This one will cancel this. Then our s will be equal to 7 over 6. Or 6 here, 1. 6 is going to 7, 1. Then remain 1. 1 on over 1 over what? 6. Answer. So if you look at the question, you can see that it's very, very easy and very simple. I believe you all understand the class. Please, before we leave, don't forget to subscribe like share comment and turn on the notification bell to also that you can be notified whenever we post new video i remain olusta thank you